Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will explain you how to calculate the volume of the concrete that is required for construction of 2BHK house, which is consisting of the 7 number of the beams and 12 number of the columns. In the same process, it will be consisting of approximately 30 feet by 60 feet slab section. So for the G plus on building structural model, I will explain the procedure. You can apply the same procedure for the rest of your examples. Most of the people are not yet subscribed to my channel. Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates and civil engineering topics. Let's start our video. For this example, just I am considering uh, some building structural model which is consisting of the slab here is like this which is consisting of the slab approximately 60 feet just I am considering here and this is the 30 feet if you convert this value of uh, 30 feet and 60 feet it will be get approximately 18 point something but for simple calculation just I am taking here as 18 meter in the same process this I am taking here as 9 meter okay so in this video I will cover how to calculate the volume of the concrete that is required for this particular slab section so in the same process I will explain for the column section in the same process I will explain for the beam section so for this section just I am assuming this is the beam layout diagram for this particular structural model here like this so it will be consisting of the horizontal beams is three numbers and it will be consisting of the vertical beams are four numbers here let us consider here like this okay so these are the column positions for the particular building structural model so these are the column position for this particular building structural model so I am starting from the ground level not the foundation level so we can obtain the same procedure from the ground level itself okay don't go with the foundation section so in my upcoming videos I will explain you how to calculate the volume of the concrete that is required for the foundation section okay so for this building structural model I am assuming the slab thickness which is consisting of approximately 150 mm so again beam size just I am taking here as 0.23 cross 0.45 in the same process column size I am taking here as 0.45 cross 0.45 okay so before going to the calculation of the volume uh, these are the input we required for the calculation of the uh, volume in meter cube okay so firstly I will start with the slab section so just I am starting with the slab section okay so first section is slab section so here the volume of the concrete that is required for the slab section we have the formula is L into B into H here okay so which is equals to approximately here the length is in meter we have to consider which is approximately equal to 18 meter and in the same process uh, width is consisting of approximately 9 meter and height is nothing but your thickness of the particular slab which is consisting of approximately 0 0.15 meter so we will calculate this respected value so now i will calculate the value i will provide the screenshot of the calculated value so that you can able to watch in the screenshot for the uh, accurate values okay so here i will take only the rough values for the calculation part 18 into 9 into 0 0.15 so which is approximately equal to i got the values 24.3 meter cube okay so this is the volume of the concrete that is required for construction of the particular slab section only in wet condition system why because we will construct the slab section or, or beam section or column section in wet condition system only now our task is to convert this particular volume into dry condition system so in order to con convert the dry condition system we have the one formula is there which is related to the multiplication factor as per the is code and provision standard system which is equals to 1.54 okay this is the value which is uh, taken from the is code book so we have to multiply this respected value with 24.3 so which is approximately equal to which is approximately equal to 37.4 double two meter cube so this is the process of calculating the volume of the concrete that is required for the slab in the same process i will explain for the column now so here i am selecting column next to task our column so here i am selecting now volume so which is nothing but your weight volume v weight volume which is equals to l b h same formula so but here the value will be different so which is consisting of the column just i am taking column which is consisting of 0.45 is the dimensions and height is 3 meter here i am assuming length is approximately equal to 0.45 and 0.45 we have to multiply this respected value with 3 so we will take the value after calculation for 0.45 into 0.45 into 3 so that it can get the values approximately 0 0.60 just i am taking rough value so we have to multiply this respected value with uh, 1.54 in order to convert the volume of the uh, 
wet volume to dry volume condition system 1.54 into 0.6 which is approximately equal to 0.9 meter cube okay so this is the volume of the concrete that is required for the column section okay but here you can see it will be consisting of the 12 number of the columns exist for this example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so we have to multiply this respected value with 12 0 0.9 so we have to multiply this respected value sorry with 9 sorry 12 which is approximately equal to 11.22 meter cube is the volume of the total volume of the concrete that is required for the column section okay now i will explain you how to calculate the volume of the concrete that is required for the uh, beam section so here you can see it will be consisting of the two sections of the beam one is horizontal beam and one is vertical beam so firstly i will calculate for the beam horizontal okay so i will take beam horizontal section so here you can see it will be consisting of the number of the beams for the uh, volume is three number so three into so we have to consider the volume so cross section of the beam is approximately 0 0.23 into 0 0.45 is the dimensions of the particular beam we have to multiply this respected value with 218 so that it can get the value approximately uh, 3 into 0 0.23 into 0 0.45 into 18 so that it can get the values approximately equal to 5.589 meter cube in the same process i will calculate the volume of the concrete that is required for the vertical beams okay which is nothing but beams in vertical position beams vertical okay so here you can see it will be consisting of your wet condition only not dry condition now we will convert it to dry condition which is equals to 1.54 multiplied by uh, your value of 5.8 uh, sorry 5.589 which is equals to 1.54 8.6 meter cube okay so now we will calculate for the wet volume for the vertical beams it will be consisting of the four number of the beams each will be consisting of 0 0.23 is the dimensions and 0 0.43 is the width of the beam and the length will be consisting of the 9 meter here okay so 9 meter here so this is the final calculation values which is obtained according to the considered dimensions of the particular slab beam as well as the column okay now i will calculate the total summation of the value that is required for one single slab so which is approximately equal to this 34 point uh, 4 double 2 so this 34.4 double 2 and 11 point double 2 plus this two values so now i will make the summation of these three uh, three values so that we can get the total volume of the concrete that is required for the particular project so 4 plus 37.4 double 2 plus 11 point double 2 plus uh, 8.6 8.6 plus 5.73 so the to total value which is obtained as approximately 63 cubic meter approximately it was obtained as 63 cubic meter for one truck of your ready mix concrete it is approximately having the volume is 6 to uh, 6 to 10 cubic meter so uh, according to the volume of the vehicle which is larger vehicle or smaller vehicle the volume of the concrete will vary in between this respected value 6 to 10 meter if you consider the 6 uh, cubic meter truck so we required approximately 10 11 vehicles not 10 vehicles 11 uh, trips we need required for the particular 63 cubic meter volume if you are considered 10 cubic meter volume so it is required approximately 6.5 uh, numbers of the drifts that is required for the for making this concrete okay so this is the complete process of uh, how to calculate the volume of the concrete in cubic meter uh, for the particular uh, section of the 30 by uh, 60 feet slab section so in the same process you can uh, multiply this respected value 30 is 63 with 2 2 slabs so that it can get the values approximately 126 meter cube which is required approximately 20 trips for the respected small vehicle section so this is the complete calculation part how to uh, calculate the volume of the concrete that is required for project okay so if you have any queries about this video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that i will give you the answer for that questions and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics thank you